Ragnarok is upon us. The words calmly spoken nevertheless caused a stir in the Great Hall. For this Ragnarok was not the one of Nordic folklore, where the gods and giants clash one last time in all the nine realms. This was a Ragnarok of an entirely different sort. The entire Azatru faith was slowly dying out pushed back year by year by encroaching Christian missionaries, converting their way towards the Norse heartlands. This would no longer be tolerated. Three great Jarls, Bjorn, Asgarn and Torstein, vowed to stand up to the Christianity, slowly eating away at their very way of life. And so, this is their tale. Welcome all to Crusader Kings 3. I am Commander Sol, and today we are joined by Satis and Nico, who will be playing, as you have just heard, the fellow warriors against Christianity in this roleplay sort of campaign. I shall be playing as Jarl Bjorn Eriksson, Afmunzo, and I reside in Upland. We are going to be playing this game until we feel that we have completed our goals, which for me are restoring the Dane law, dismantling the papacy, and reforming the Asatra religion, plus having a couple of empire titles. I think everybody wishes for an empire title, in fact, and it will be quite an interesting game. So, without any further ado, let us jump on in. Well, by now you all watching this have probably seen an epic introduction. <laughs> probably. <laughs> we shall see about that. Uh, didn't I just... Did, did you steal my uh, betrothed? Naughty. So, uh, whoever said they were marrying somebody with a congenital trait? Was it Hale, yeah. by any chance? Uh, no, for me it's Mark, I read that. Yes, that was the one I also sent a proposal to. <laughs> you <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I shall have to make do with quick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. It's fine. She was such a good match. I didn't know you were going for her. <laughs> yes, fair enough. Right. Oh, I need to uh, modify feudal contract, march, title revocation protected, and I'll want to pay you high taxes in exchange for that. I also would like to mer... Nope, not going to bother trying to do that, because that would be 70 stress. <laughs> Before I am just and honest. <laughs> So to do that would be very bad indeed. And I'm already declaring war. I now have 32, Marshall. Wow. <laughs> I'm waiting for Eric Stenkill's son to... Uh... Oh, you... He did not. He did not appoint me to his council. I am offended... Right, I have to claim the Kingdom of Sweden in this lifetime, for I will not inherit the claim. Oh, somebody left the chat and rejoined the chat, so we're fine. <laughs> Chieftain Sword is terrified of me. Why? Because I have four dread. Nope, I have, yeah, I have four dread because I'm wrathful. Hmm, who should I attack? Now begins for Thorstein a lifetime of war and conquer. Probably the Yaldum of Finland. Uh, no, because they're tribal. Don't want to get tribes. I want to get feudal. Uh, yeah, you're not a bad idea. Oh, I don't have any fame. 
uh, prestige, so that's not going to happen. By who? Bit on? By Finn of Helgen. Oh, cheeky. Sneaky little bastard. Somebody wants lower crown authority, Varmaland. Uh, you can join my faction, by the way, uh, Satis, if you wanted to. Oh, you've already got a thousand men. Very nice. Yeah, I have a nice one. Although... Why is it on 400? Hmm. Oh, he's betrothed to the daughter of Den... Ah. King Svend of Denmark is... Allied with King Eric of Sweden. Great. Okay, so. On the bright side, I can attack the Isles. Or Iceland. Oh, no, not Iceland. Oh, I can't because I don't have the fame. Bloody hell. Okay. Call a hunt. We're going hunting in Ireland, boys. <laughs> yes, because I need prestige. And I need prestige now. And I now have that prestige. Okay. I'm already at war. I'm beginning the invasion of the British Isles early. Wow. For the Isle of Man. I have a little problem is that everyone is now allied to each other in my zone. That sucks. Yeah, it, this is annoying. My boat is speeding along. Under the command of my 17-year-old self, who is about to start uh, producing an heir, I hope. On the boat? Well, when he gets back. <laughs> so what are you, what are you the Isle of Man. Where is it? The British Isles. Uh, he's not going to attack me because he's very, very weak and a very bad ruler. Only 13 advantage. I just got out of a boat and I have 12 advantage, so that's not bad at all. Right, so I'll come back and worry about that later. King Eric of Sweden is attacking... Finland. Nice. It'll make it easier for me when I take over if we have already part of Scan more of the Empire of Scandinavia. Uh, you could attack on Germanland. Ah, you have replaced me as the leader of the faction. Interesting. A Catholic is has joined my scheme to put myself, a firm Norseman, on the throne of Sweden. I like him. Good on you, uh, Fast of Dahl. Ah, it's because I'm brave, Herculean, and chivalry focus. <laughs> and he's homosexual. Yep, that's why. Attraction plus ten from chivalry. 
Makes perfect sense. One month and I will have my foothold. And I have an ally. Now I can go to war. Oh, but... Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. And the island is mine. Lovely. Hmm, I do not think she likes knowledge. I do think she admires dynasty though. Ah, uh, no, she didn't like that. There we go, good. You know, it'd be really funny if uh, King Eric Stenkelson lost this war. And I gained the trait wounded because I fell off a horse. It's fine, I'm Herculean, so I'm still feeling fine. <laughs> Although I do need a doctor. You're good enough. I just made my Hofgordy. Uh, is it actually Hofgordy? Yes, it is. They didn't change that title, at least. I'll just make my Hof Goddy my uh, nice. Oh, I forgot that um, my Zodis isn't a Sashu. Oh. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Oh. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, William the Conqueror has done conquering. Wow. <laughs> yes. And is actually losing to Harold Hardrad. Severely. Who, William? Yeah. Oh my, yes he is. He's still feeling fine, so pity. But Harold Hodrod has also been wounded and is feeling poor. And then we've got Sven Olfsson, who has a claim on the Kingdom of England, but I don't think he's ever going to get to press it. I'm actually third in line to the throne. Not bad. And this is a second word one. Nice. Ah, good, yes. My son and heir. Steer car. Who I really, really hope is Herculean. Oh, He's hail, that's good enough. I'm tempted to start attacking Ireland. Sweden is attacking. He'll have to give that away because it's tribal. Actually, let's take a look at what's going to happen when he dies. He has no children, so the kingship will go to Halston. Halston, Halston, Halston. Everything will go to Halston. That's not good. Is there primogeniture involved? Hmm. Oh, no. There's a peasant rabble. That's not going to do anything. Right, so the Isles are allied to the hard ruler, and that's it. 
Galway is not Galloway isn't allied to anybody, and nor is Carrick. Yeah, he's just won a major battle. How quickly did you get a claim? Yeesh. I'd have gone for Oland, personally. <laughs> Sweden's just expanding into Finland. <laughs> Indeed, it is. The more territory we have now, the easier it will be to gain more later. Right, let's take a look at the culture. Right, so in 40 years, we'll be able to get Tier 2 castles. And in also 40 years, we'll be able to recruit armoured horsemen, who are pretty rubbish. Why am I still wounded? It's been several years. I shouldn't. Yes, I know I could recruit men at arms, but I'm waiting to build. Scotland's having a civil war. And is winning handily. The Sudrajar are losing. If I want Galway, I'm going to have to attack now. I don't think I should, if I'm being honest, though. Right, now that I've got that, I can build. I'm actually tempted to immediately save up a thousand so that I can get the Grand Temple. I think I will do that, actually, because it's very, very good. One tax immediately, 500 levies immediately, plus 10% levy size, plus 10% holding taxes, plus 20% development growth, plus one development a month, and plus 0.2 piety, plus 5%, 1,000. Plus 5% Renown, plus 15% Knight Effectiveness, plus 10% Levy Reinforcement Rate, and plus 5% Control Growth. So yeah, it's just very, very good. My Hofgordy is doing a splendid job converting people. Ooh, I could actually declare war on Iceland. Chivalric dominance, yes please. My knights are now 175% effective. I'm tempted to start eating bits of Ireland. Already? Yes. Oh, so you won your quarry. I won that years ago. <laughs> been I could go for the Sudre Yar, which I think might be a better idea, but they're still allied to Norway.
So I should probably attack Ireland instead. Oh, I now have another son. Oh, this son is the one I want. Quick and robust. Yes. Uh, nice. Um, disinherit? Would either of you feel up to murdering a one-year-old? I mean, Sadie's... often does that, but not like a Haha. It seems like it'd be right up your street, Satis. <laughs> I've just taken my spy master off of disrupt schemes, just in case. Wow. Oh, no, I have a slow son as well. Great. He shall not be called Eric. He'll be called Cole. Oh, good. My wound has healed at last. Am I interested in a wife? No, I like my wife. My wife is very good. Uh, you could say no. Yeah, but I lose No, you lose renown, so don't do it. Oh. Renown is very important. Uh, you can always accept because Angermanland is closer to. Uh, you, um, it's closer than. Yeah, okay. You are. You just you said no. Oh dear. Sorry, man. Yeah, because I mean, he is surely being invaded. Yeah. Interesting. Lollardy has already broken out in England. <laughs> Apostolicism has also started being a big thing, but that's a way away from us. Then you've got, of course, insularism. Not much is actually happening on the religious front at the moment. Hmm. I already have three sons. This is less than ideal. One of them will take Norland, which is the one I actually want to play as. And one will take Man, which is the one that I want dead because he's terrible. Oh, you both left the game. Hello? <laughs> right. Right. And we are back after my game... Well, my internet crashed annoyingly. Okay, then. What was happening? I was about to declare some wars, I think. And we should also be playing. There we go. One month past, we go to Spain, right? Please. Please stop. I get this. 
It it automatically paused when you left for me, I think. Oh, you're a torturer. I don't like you, Ruiri Domino McNeil. Yeah, none of these Irish guys are particularly great. Uh, William the Conqueror has captured the uh, petty king of the isles, Sudrejar. That was fast. <laughs> oh, Norway only has 300 troops. Norway only has 300 troops. Now's the time. If I want the Northern Isles, I can claim them. Actually, no, I don't want to do that. I want to get the... Uh, uh, which one is it? Pelamork? No. Trondheimer. Trondheim. Ah, oh, no, there we go. They just... Oh, no, because they're allied to Denmark, and Denmark still has a good idea, good amount of soldiers. Oh no, it's the Jarl of the Northern Isles who still has a good amount of soldiers. Wait, what? Why do I own... Okay, cheers, King. would make for an accomplished commander. Right, I've just been granted uh, Stirkar, Bjornsson, Afmunzo. No, thank you. You can butt out. Who's Sombio? Oh, curious. Oh, right. Why am I at war with Norway? I... That's not good. The King of Sweden is allied to William. <laughs> okay, that's weird. And also allied to Sven of Denmark, who he's at war with. What do I want first? Brefner? Oh, sorry, Oriel. Yeah, I guess Oriel. Actually, let's take a look and see. Oriel is completely undeveloped. Ulster would be nice. Athlone would be good. Dublin the best, of course. Definitely not Desmond, which is... Are you a tribal ruler? No. Knort is terrible. Yeah, I think it'll have to be Alec. He's got a decent army, actually. Maybe Ulster, but they're allied to Dublin, so that's a bad idea. Hmm. 
Well, that's disappointing. Scotland's about to claim the place I wanted. So I guess I'll have to make do with somewhere else. Right, now I've just got to wait the 20 odd days for my army to arrive on the Isle of Man so that I can smack the peasants around. Hmm, <laughs> 50, 23, 0 left. And prisoners, you're not going to convert and you're never going to serve me, so let's execute him. Lovely. <laughs> ah, somebody didn't think this through. Yeah. I purposely went for traits that all helped me. Wrathful, just, brave, and honest. I don't do sneaky, stabby-in-the-back stuff. Therefore, it's perfectly safe for me to do this. Not a bad choice. Right, now it's time for me to go through all of my court and convert the Christians. I only have two Christians at court. Lovely. One of them is my concubine, but we don't talk about that. Hmm. They only have three ter four territories, so it's not that big. Yuckmark is going to be your next conquest, I suspect. Yes. So you're going to go for the Kingdom of Sup, me? Good call. So, uh, Satis, what kingdom are you going to go for? Denmark, who is allied to Sweden and Harald. <laughs> It'll all work out. <laughs> He's actually managing to defend against the King of Scotland. Curious.
steer car Afman, so no. The condition for that status is at some point that you murder my uh, firstborn child.